Yeah, Greg, if you do that, I'll become a your salesperson. You don't have to work anymore. There you go. And we'll become a millionaire, see the millionaire. Be part of it first. So not a lot. No, no. Like I said, two ounces, 40 square feet. So just one spray. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you'll be what able to. What happens if you touch it with your skin? Nothing. Okay. I mean, the, the water is nothing but soap and uh, okay. sea air. Okay. Okay. But the solvents, you know, solvents can penetrate. So. Oh, yeah. Um, but I've been doing this for 15 years now, and the only thing well, the only reason, you know, I ask, you know, because you and know. And I don't have it done. This is what it starts to do. It's already uh, transparent. Yeah. It's okay, so you wait till it's half dry. You see, we're getting 50-50 in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this one, you see that half? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the one we invented for marble training. And that's how you play it with, with your hand? Or yeah. is there a, a brush or you something? Can use the, you can use the blanket. The reason we use the hand is you want to, we were talking about chemical osmosis. Mm -hmm. You actually want to force the yeah. chemical into the port. Okay. And if you were doing it in your shop, use a, a, a roll and a squeegee. I was going to say a squeegee or something. Yeah, just squeegee it off. Yeah. Have a good one. Solidifies it is normally. So you're putting a little bit more of that. This is a different kind. Yes. No, no, just here. Yeah. So this catalyzes the permacy almost the last one. Okay. Because <laughs> this is a super penetrant and uh, it'll get through anything you can see. There's no repelling or whatsoever. It's going through all the sealers. Uh, no, no penetration. Yeah, no penetration as much. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> and see, that's one of the reasons that I didn't want to start process. The first chemical I used is a large molecule of the head of So I get into every kind of process. Because, you know, if you use a 511, it's got to be going into a very large cord pride. Yeah. Otherwise, it sits on top and wipes off. Yeah. And that's the difference between using a, a system like this and just grabbing the seal off the shelf and hoping you got the right kind. Oh, it smells it. It's a, it's a methanol. And what it, what it does is it, it, it frees a carbon uh, carbon molecule out of the silica and forms a double covalent bond and locks itself in as a piece of diamond inside the stuff. So we've actually converted this. Now I'm going to try this and that blocks any penetration from getting in, especially on that. So the marble, you're done with the marble? That's it, you're not putting that in the marble anymore. I've got two more coats on the marble. Okay. And uh, I've already done this one on the marble, so I'm just waiting. Yeah. You can see right here, it's not getting in. Yeah, it's just on top, it's beating up. It's just beating up. Yeah. And I also use this as what we call a leak detector to see if I need any misses, whatever. Yeah. It'll solve that for me. Yeah, because it's just beating, most of it. Yeah. and it puts the repellent all over on the surface. And this has lasted outdoors up to four years at a time without losing its polish, without breaking down. And the only way to clean this stuff off is with great clean. It's that strong. It's carrying is so dense, a regular towel cannot remove it. You have to use microfiber towel. I'm going to
pebble. This is cool. There's a pebble. I think we can get it on Caesar's phone. I mean, I told you it was a better talk to him. You uh, directed me right. Veronica and Caesar Stone, Silas Stone came in and started kicking my ass. And I go, you know, if Granite were non porous and maintenance free, we can sell more. So I just started looking around, and I'm kind of what you call a fix it guy. So I came across a product that steals glass, and. Uh, Instead of done, you know, you send somebody out and everything. Who's better? Huh? It's better than Yeah, that's just. So you feel the difference. How much is it? For counter? Nice and softer. How long does it take to cure? Instant. How long does it take you to do a whole kitchen? <clears throat> An hour, two hours at the most. Six hundred bucks. I'm rather fast. It was six, three hundred sixty dollars. Uh, sixty, sixty. Okay. Uh, Look at this part, though. It's like this out. On marble. Once it's sealed with this product, you can sell it like this. The sealer, you know, if we send him, the sealer will prevent staining. If you drop uh, a, a red red wine, it will etch your your marble, but it will not stain it. And they have a, a pit where they can go back and reseal it. So if it happens again, it will etch it, but it will not stain. It. So basically, scotch bright pad, so you can pour vinegar on it and etch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, send me out. It will not stain. Well, let me put it this yeah. way. Um, in three hours, okay. I are in between. It's crazy. It's like a, a board that goes back and forth. Or it bubbles up. Yeah, and, and watch it. We're suddenly. Now the only problem we ever have is people that actually protect your phone. So let me uh, figure out how to use it. Okay. You know how a lot of fabricators. Okay, I'm working. Well, you can see what I can do. That's a